Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm working on a 2014 Grand Caravan. A uh, customer wants me to swap front brake pads and was told that one of his calipers are bad. So we're gonna go ahead and swap the calipers out too. I'm gonna show you how to do a quick caliper swap and get the bleeding procedure done one man so that you don't need a second person you can do this by yourself so if you like my content please subscribe like my videos and i'm going to keep putting content out for you guys all right so first thing we're going to do is we're going to get these two slide pin bolts out they're 13 millimeters they should be relatively easy to break free just like that Once they're broken free, they should pretty much turn out by hand, unless your van is much older. So you get those out, set them to the side, caliper will just pull off, set that out of the way. <clears throat> Make sure the slide pins are spinning freely. If you're not replacing calipers, I'm replacing the calipers and the brackets, so that really doesn't matter for me. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get these caliper bracket bolts out. Look like they're going to be 21 millimeter. Yep, these caliper bracket bolts, they're a 21 millimeter. I have a electric impact if you do not have one. You're gonna wanna use a breaker bar probably. Set these bolts to the side. Customer doesn't want me to replace the rotors because they're fairly new. If you do replace the rotors, make sure to clean them with brake clean to get that oil off that they put on at the factory. So I'm gonna go grab the new caliper. We're gonna start swapping it on. All right, first thing we're gonna do since I'm putting new calipers on, we're gonna take this new bracket, we're gonna get the new clips in it. Got our new clips in, now we're going to bolt it to the knuckle with our 21 millimeter bolts.
Now that that is nice and tight, we're going to go ahead and put our new pads on. These pads don't appear to be any different from inboard to outboard. So we just slip them in. These ones have to go in on an angle because of the clips. You just put them in inside of this little tab here. Push them in and rotate them. Boom. Now, we're going to take our new caliper. I don't make sure that you take your slide pins out, clean them, grease them. I don't have to do that because I'm putting a new new caliper on. They come pre-greased and there's obviously no rust or corrosion on them. We're going to go ahead and tighten these down real quick. Spin the rotor, make sure there's no noise from your hardware or anything, or your splash shield. Mine sounds good. And then now I'm going to show you how to swap the line from the old caliper to the new caliper very quickly and do a very quick, easy bleed procedure. A good tip, if you are swapping calipers, good way to know if you got the right side, like this is the driver's side, your bleeder screw is always going to be to the top. If your bleeder screw is on the bottom, then it's wrong. Your bleeder screw has got to be the highest point. So make sure your bleeder screw is up top on the caliper. All right, first part, part of this procedure of swapping the brake line real quick. So you want to make sure of your orientation of the line. So I can tell this line needs to come like this. It comes down and then to the front. So. Now I'm going to take a rag and these little baby vice grips and I'm going to clamp off this hose just so that brake fluid doesn't run out. They do make a tool for this. I've been doing it long enough that I can just use these vice grips. You just don't, you don't want to make it too tight because you do not want to puncture the hose. All right. Now that I got that clamped off, if you can see that, it's clamped off so that as little brake fluid as possible will leak out. I'm going to pull this plug here out of the new caliper. And we're going to go ahead and start swapping the line from the old to the new. Okay, now. You're going to want to do this as quick as possible just to prevent as much fluid from coming out as possible. So we're going to go ahead and undo this. Now we're going to get this line in place. Be very careful not to cross thread it because that would be a big pain. I always recommend using the old banjo bolt with its washers because it just tends to seal better than if you use the new one because of corrosion and stuff. It always seems to seal better. So now that that's on, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to gravity bleed it and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So we're going to gravity bleed this and it's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Gravity is going to allow brake fluid to flow through the line into the caliper and we're going to open the bleeder valve so that air can escape and the caliper is going to fill up with fluid and push all the air out. Because this only works if 
you don't have a pre-existing leak and your your brake pedal feels good if if you have a leak you won't be able to do this if you're just replacing a bad caliper then all you need to do the only air in the system is in the caliper so it'll flow in fill up and push the air out itself it won't back feed in any way because like I said the bleeder has to be up top that's the top the highest point in this braking system right now so all the fluid is going to flow in here and push the air out so now now that i loosen this we're going to wait a few minutes until it starts to drain and once we get a good dr drain out of it we'll tighten it up and it should be good to go so as you can see now this bleeder valve is dripping out fluid so i'm going to let this this drip make sure it works all the air out for just a little bit and then all we got to do is tighten it down and it'll be good to go all right so it's been draining I'm pretty confident there's no air left in the system, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten this back down. You don't want to overdo your bleeder. You don't want to break it off. Get it nice and tight. No more leak. Put your plug back on. And then take your rag, wipe off any excess brake fluid. And this caliper is gravity bled. It's good to go. Make sure once you're done that you pump your brake pedal about half pumps until you get firmness again before you drive it thanks guys if you like my content please subscribe like my videos and i'll keep putting it out for you guys to work on your own vehicles have a good one please guys like and subscribe my videos if you like my content and i'll keep putting it out so that you guys can learn how to fix your cars your family's cars anybody else's doesn't take that much knowledge pretty simple stuff. Please like and subscribe. Thanks guys.